In today's video, I want to show you how and where to include your post navigation in your DV blog post template. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is to head over to this blog post, which I'll link to in the video description below. Download the template and then unzip the file. The next step now is to install this on our website. Come all the way down here to DV and then click on Theme Builder. Next, you want to click on Portability. Click on the import tab. Now we need to uh, import the file that we've just downloaded and it is right here. Make sure that this is the unzipped version. Next, I'm going to drag and drop it over here. And then I'm going to click on import theme builder templates. All right, so the next step now is to customize our template. So I'm going to come over here on this pencil icon. Next, we're going to come over here to expand settings and go into our wireframe mode. This way, it's easy for us to find all our content. So I'm going to scroll all the way down until I find my post content. And here it is. So the next thing we need to do is to add a brand new row by clicking here. Now our row is going to have a single column. So I'm going to select that. And now over here, I need to add a divider. So I'm going to search for it and select it. Next on show divider, I'm going to set this to no and then save. Now it's time to add our post navigation. So I'm going to click here on this plus button and search for post navigation. And here it is. I'm going to select that, snap this over to the left so I can see my design. And now I can switch on to my desktop view. So now let's label our links. So this one here can be previous uh, post and this one here could be next post. Next, let's head over to our design tab and start customizing the text. So link text, I'm going to select that and set this to open sans. I'm going to select my font and then over here on the weight, I'm going to set this to bold on the font style. I'm going to make it all caps and give it a color. So I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Next, I'm going to scroll down here and give this some letter spacing, which I'm going to set to two. And for my line height, I'm going to set this to 1.2 EM and then save. Now that we've added our links, let's take a look and see if this is working. So I'm over here on my blog post. So when I scroll down here, now we can see our previous and next post. All right, so let's do another example of our post navigation styles. Click here and then go to my wireframe mode. All right, so let me find my post navigation. So I'm going to scroll down and here it is. Click here on this gear icon. And the first thing I need to do here is to add a background. So I'm going to come over here, click on um, this plus button and paste my background color in here. Next, I'm going to come over here to design, link text, and what I'm going to do here is to change the color because currently it's a dark color. This will not show clearly on a dark background. So I'm going to change this to white. Next, I'm going to come over here to spacing and add some padding. So I'm going to start off by adding 40 pixels, both to the left and the right. So I'm going to activate this chain so I can add the same value to the both of the sides. And then over here, I'm going to set this to 20 pixels. And again, I'm going to do this to both sides. So now we can save. Now let's take a look and see what this looks like. So I'm going to refresh my page and here we go. So now we have this dark background and our text is now white. I also have one more to do for you guys. So let's go ahead and work on that. So what I'm going to do for this one here is to uh, create a brand new row. So I'm going to click on this plus button, add my row. And in here, I'm going to add my post navigation selected. So I'm just going to save this for now. So all I'm going to need here is our divider. So I am going to drag bring it all the way down here. And then I'm going to delete the top one because I don't need this anymore. Now it's time to customize this. So let's start by adding a background color in our row. So I'm going to click on this gear icon and then I'm going to come over to background, click on this plus button and paste my color like that. Next, I'm going to come over here to my design tab and click on sizing. Here we need to set our width. So I'm going to start off with uh, setting this to about 90%. And then over here, I'm going to set a maximum width of 500 pixels. Now I'm going to go to spacing and add some padding. I'm going to select that. And for our padding, I'm going to set this to 20 pixels, both to the top. And then I'm going to set this to 30 pixels for our left and right. Next, I'm going to add some rounded corners. So I'm going to come over here and set my rounded corners to 30 pixels. So we are done here. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Next, I'm going to go into the post navigation and make some changes in here. So I'm going to go st straight to my design tab and then go to my link text. So here I need to set this to open sans. And here it is. I'm going to select it, set my fonts to bold, make this all caps and set this to white since our background is dark. Next, let's head over here to our letter spacing. I'm going to set this to two. And for my line height, I'm going to set this to 1.2. 
Now let's save and take a look at our final design. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, you'll be notified when we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.